Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Alicia. I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay. Um, primarily Poshmark. I'm just getting into po uh, eBay and I'm not, it's not doing so well, but I'm going to keep working at it. Um, so I went thrifting at the Goodwill bins, Goodwill outlet, whatever you want to call it. And I got a lot of stuff this time. I got, it was a total of a hundred items. So that evened out to about a dollar per item. Uh, and I'm just going to get right into it. So the first thing I got was this cheese cutting board. It's in really nice condition. It does have to be tightened because it kind of snags right here. Um, but yeah. And I don't know what was that, like granite? Um, so I'm like, I could sell that or even keep this actually. But yeah, I thought this was in really good condition and I could probably sell it right on eBay. The next thing, so I thought these were cool. These are Levi's. Um, and I don't know what the white tab is. I don't know if this is a white tab or if the white tab has to be bigger. But they're different looking. I've never seen Levi's like this. And there's a white tab. But I feel like the white tab is actually bigger. I'm going to have to look these up. Um, but they're really nice pair of jeans, actually. I like these a lot. Like, they're not your average... They don't look like your average Levi's, I feel like. And then another pair of Levi's. These are men's. These are all five fifty. Another pair of Levi's. I think I got a lot of Levi's. Um, these ones are new with tags. They're just shorts. And it, uh, the um, the price ripped off, so I don't know how much they were originally. Um, then I got the skirt. I thought this was really cute. I mean, not not like my style cute, but it's someone will like it. That's the brand. <laughs> and I actually sold something just like this um, for like, I don't remember how much, but. So this is, these are nice to have. This is a men's extra large. I'm just gonna kind of like go fast because I have a lot of stuff here. And I have a lot to do today. Then this, it's like vintage. Oh, the collar on it. It's a little t-shirt sweater thing, knitted. I am really, my son's sleeping right now, so my goal is to not have to edit this video. So I'm really hoping he does not wake up. <clears throat> okay, then I have this jacket, leather jacket, a new approach. This I thought was really adorable. It's French Laundry is a brand. I did, I do have some things from them. My dog, he's running around like a crazy guy. Size small. Um, it's really cute. It's like a flannel, but it's not, it doesn't actually button down. It's just some buttons on top here. Great for the spring or with some leggings, I think. There's a hood. <clears throat> um, another camo button down. This is a really nice one. It's real tree. It's uh, white water. It's got the knitting and the breathable back here. And yes, we're, my family is super into like hunting and all that. I hunt. Um, so I'm always looking out for hunting gear for either me or my family or to sell. I actually shot, um, I went hunting for my very first time this year and well, it would have been 2020 and I shot my first deer and it was a eight point buck. So that was exciting. Um, here's a scrub top. I just feel like scrub tops are good to grab that everyone's always looking for scrub tops. Um, cute knitted sweater. This is, the brand is Free For All. Um, I don't know if that's free people. I, I guess I just want to assume it is because it says free, but I mean, I'm probably wrong. I don't know. Tell me in the comments, is this a free people brand? I don't, I still would have picked it up regardless, but. 
Then I got a Jessica Simpson top. I do like her style. Um, this is just a button down. Really wrinkly. It's in really good condition. It's just really wrinkly. It's the back. And then I just got this really plain long sleeve uh, because it's L.L. Bean. And L.L. Bean, it's a good brand. Doesn't mean you should still pick up things like this. I just... I was at the bin, so I said, what the heck, why not? Um, because I'll put it in my four for 25 sale. So this is Express. I love Express. I think they have the, cute, the cutest clothing. This is a really cute cardigan. It's an extra small. Cute design. It's really thick and nice for winter. Um, so this does have some merino wool. 40% merino wool. And then I got this really nice, I don't know what my dog's doing. He's just running around everywhere. He's hyper. This really cute jean jacket, and this is a Route 66. I'm not sure how that'll do. Um, I want to think it's going to do good, but I've never sold anything like that. Another express top, crop top, and I love the little tie in front there and the button down. Uh, Sherpa sweater. Oh, this is a Wisconsin Badgers size medium, but this is men's. I was going to keep it because I said it, saw it was size medium. So I'm like, oh, yay, because I really like it. And it's Wisconsin Badgers. Um, <clears throat> but it's huge. So it's got to be a men's. Okay, so the next, I got another Sherpa sweater. This is really cute, also. It's a size small. The brand is Cozy Sherpa. The inside is a little rough looking, but um, otherwise the outside is in really good condition. And then this, I got this L.L. Bean fleece sweater. I just like picking up L.L. Bean, I guess. I don't know. It's plain. 100% polyester. <clears throat> this one I'm really excited about. I've heard that logo by Lori Goldstein does really good. So I grabbed this and it's a plus size. So that's exciting. These I just these are plain shorts, but they're MSX by Michael Strahan. And because they said by Michael Strahan is why I grabbed them. Um, he's a sports. I don't remember what sport, if it's football or what. That he played um but i do know he's also on the talk show with um kelly ripa the next thing i got was this little skirt how cute is that <laughs> it's got little shorts under um this is ripped off a little bit but um yeah this is oh and they're levi's how cute it's a little levi tag so yeah awesome i love these these, those are the things that make me wish I had a daughter. <laughs> okay, the first bra, I got three different bras. Victoria's Secret, pink. Um, I will always pick these up when I see them because this is a cool and comfy one. But because these are a super quick flip, they will sell, they sell so fast and um, for a pretty good amount. Like 20 bucks, so... Here is another bra. This is the brand Adore Me. Let's grab it here. My Sorry, my phone's blowing up. I'm, but I want to finish this video. Okay, so there's the brand. I want to say I've heard of the brand. I don't remember where it's out of though, Adore Me. And then I got this. I accidentally washed and dried this. Um... It's really cute. It's a dormy also. It's a lace one. There's no padding though, so I think it's fine. Like when you know, once you put it on, it'll come back to shape. So, but that's a cute bra. Okay, then I got this Victor or pink sweater. Pink is a really good bread and butter brand to pick up. If you see it, make sure you grab it. Whether it's a bra or a shirt or a sweatshirt, whatever it is. 
I found this Columbia vest. This was in really good condition. Um, size small. Another, I got a few pink items. So this is really like this. It's tie dye. Um, there's the P for pink. Yeah. This pink shirt. This one's super adorable. I think this one will go fast actually. I like the sequins on there. <clears throat> Another pink shirt. And I love that the sleeve has some writing on it there. This is different. I kind of like it though, actually. Um, it's got a big skull on it. Um, I feel like a lot of people are into skulls, so that's what it looks like. And then the back has the that. I thought that was super cool. This bin that I got this out of, I got a couple of other things, uh, or I think one other thing. But I also found this really weird, it had like chains on it. And I should have grabbed it, but I had no idea what it was. So I just left it and kind of thinking, maybe I should have grabbed it. It would have been like, maybe it would have been worth some money. But in the same bin, I did find this. Um, not really my style, but I can see, you know, someone really liking this that's the brand and i got this men's Abercrombie and fitch of nice bright orange t-shirt or no this is american eagle <clears throat> i guess this blazer is extremely nice actually it's morona a size four eight fully on um really awesome condition and um, it just looks nice and professional. There's the sleeve. <clears throat> and then I got, oh, I got these shorts because these, how cool are these? That Nike swoosh, swoosh on the front there. I love those. These are swim trunks, men's. <clears throat> I got them because they're Nike. <clears throat> Jeez, what's up with my voice? Um, they do have like, I can tell the elastic in it is like wearing, so I don't know. Yeah, I might just sell them for really cheap or something because I didn't notice that before. Then I got this free country fleece sweater. These are just, these are nice to have and with spring coming up, I feel like people like, you know, they don't want to wear their big winter coat so things like this are really nice to have <clears throat> this is Annalie and Hope I really don't know that brand but I thought it was cute and it's got the little tie in the front and it's an extra large this I just thought was really cute and the same it's powered by coffee and it's got like a ribbed material and then the fold on the sleeves um this is a really nice and i i was gonna stop picking up button-up shirts because they, they just don't move for me um but this is in really good condition it's kelvin klein and it's one of those non-iron ones um not in infinite non-iron um it definitely needs to be iron though <laughs> i did take a picture of it like this frankly because I'm too lazy, but if someone's worried about the wrinkles, I'm sure they'd have an iron or something. Because I did, I went shopping, um, oh, when was that? It was this last weekend and it's already Thursday. I'm just getting to the haul now. I've been really busy and so I do have some of these things listed already. This um, I don't know this brand, River's End, but these kind of jackets are really nice, and I think it'll be really good for spring. Oops. And then, Effie's Heart. But I just thought this was a really cute dress. Uh, I was gonna list it and add the keyword art to wear. Then we have 
Max Studio Woman. It's 100% extra fine merino wool. It's a plus size 2X. I do think I dried this by accident, so I may have shrunk it. I don't have to check into that, but that's the back. <sighs> this is Alex. Extra large. This is really cute. It's So there's a tank top underneath, and then there's this sheer top. Um, if you can, can you tell? I don't know. It's in my closet if you want to go check it out. Um, but yeah, I love this. Super cute. Then I got this jacket. And the coolest part about it is that it is reversible. So it's got the duck camo on the inside. Um, yeah, how cool is that? Or maybe you guys don't think that's cool. <laughs> We're hunters, obviously, so. And my fiance is like super into duck hunting, so. He really liked that coat. It's just too small for him. Um, there's this. I thought this was really cute. And, um, you know, it's got the little tie around the neck. This also, I believe, is that... What is the... Yeah, this is Free to Live also. That same brand. And I want to say this probably... Probably not free people, but it just sounds like a free people name. Because I know, like, another free people is We the Free. I sold a sweater from We the Free. Okay, so this is another express top. And then I really like the sleeve here. Let me just, like, show you how cool that looks. Then we have a Nike. It's the Nike T Dry Fit. I sold my, I had a long sleeve Nike one like this, but black, and I sold that pretty quick. So I wanted to pick that up. And I have this really cute dress. This will be good for spring. Oh, my son's waking up. I can hear him. Oh no, I really did not want to edit. And I really like the tie there in the front. Maybe he'll go back to sleep. Old Navy. Sometimes he does that. He wakes up, cries a little bit, and then he'll fall back asleep. So I am just going to leave him for a second, hopefully. Because he just ate, so he's not hungry. International Concepts. This is really cute. I love this. It's a cardigan. Um, it does have... I did mention this in the listing. Um, it's got some staining somewhere. It's not super noticeable. Okay, I'm going to have to go grab him. Okay, so the next thing, a pair of American Eagle jeans. These are always a good staple to have in your closet. Um, and these are a big size. So that's good. They're a size 20. And then I've got, oh, these are, so these are cool. They're Cabela's. I need to fix my phone. Do you hear my dog? <laughs> His toy's under the couch. He can't get it. These are Cabela's, and they're fleece-lined. Um, so these are good. These will be a good one. If they were my size, I'd totally keep these. They would work really good for hunting. But they are a size 10. Um, and then, actually, I also got a pair of men's fleece-lined pants. Uh, these are Wrangler's Rugged Wear. But yeah, that's got the fleece lining. My fiance has a couple of these. Um, he uses them for work because he work. He's a concreter, so he works outside in the cold. Um, then we have Maurice's, and I got these because I well, I don't know if it's because <laughs> well, they're size 16, so they're bigger size also. Oh, I found some Miss Me's. Um, I'll always pick these up at the bins because, yeah, they, you get them for pretty cheap. Nothing too special about them. But these are size 26. I'm really questioning. I'm going to have to measure these and put the measurements in the, um,
I'm gonna have to put the measurements in the listing because these are really small. And I, I wanted to say that they were a kid size, but um, I think kid sizes, they don't go by like 26, like they go by like one, two, three. I, I could be wrong, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Some Calvin Klein jeans. Um, more American Eagles. These are a size 14. These are different. Um, they're Alfred Dunner Petite. They're, they're soft and they're like a, what is that, like a reptile or a snake print? So, thought I'd try those. I found some Venus jeans. I, my mom used to shop out of the Venus catalog all the time. We always, I always got their swimsuits. There they are. Yeah. And some more American Eagle. These are these must be really old. These are men's. But this is what they look like. I don't remember. And it's like that cursive up there. Um, so these are a size 18. So no, these are women's. Right? Yeah, they're just a plus size women's. So these should be good. Another pair of Levi's. And then these were just some guys jeans. Um, I don't know the brand Bailey's Port or Bailey's Part 36 wide and then 32 the length. But they're a nice looking pair of jeans. They, they remind me of um, Buckle, so I got those. Then I found this really nice winter jacket and I think it's called a skiing or snowboarding jacket because it's got um, this in there. Where buttons in the inside. I could be wrong. Another scrub top. This is a really nice, really good condition. And Winnie the Pooh. And then I got this active, um, like sweater, but it's a vest and it's got a hood on there. Then we got a cardigan, like a, um, this one is very lightweight, so super cute. I took pictures, I actually should have modeled this one, um, but yeah, that's cute. And that brand, what is that brand? Oh, I didn't even tell you the brands of these. I'm like in a big hurry. Oh, that's Forever 21. Then I got Rock and Republic. Tank top, nice racer back. I was really hoping I didn't have to edit this video, but I'm gonna have to do a lot of editing now. Um, I have these scrub pants. This is really cute. This is Express, of course. I really like their clothes. Ruffled tank top. I thought this was really adorable. Um, it's a crop top and it's got that manufacturer distressing everywhere. Like how cute is that? That's Rue 21. And then I got this, it's Bailey's Castle Pier New Wool. I wish I would have found this before St. Patty's Day, um, but it's this really thick, nice, you can tell it's nice quality. There is some snap. There's some holes and stuff. I did, I listed this already and I did mention that in the listings. Then I just have another crop top. This is American Eagle. Found this new with tags, Simply Bear Wang jumpsuit. The wide leg. And this is originally like $72. So I think I listed it for like 30 or 40. Okay, and then this is this was a fun find. This is Juicy Couture. I know I've heard that Juicy Couture. It's really cute on top there. Um, you can't really see, but I've heard Juicy Couture just doesn't do that well actually anymore. But I mean, I wasn't gonna leave it behind. And then I found 
this um the italian sweater company this is really like kind of dirty it needs to be dry cleaned oops throwing toys then i've got j crew sweater it's got some wool in it merino wool okay we're almost done guys this was really cool i like this a lot um a jean jacket with that cute her pretty um beading and another leather jacket this is a small petite this is really nice okay so LuLaRoe I do pick up LuLaRoe at the bins because it's good for my four for 25 even though I, it doesn't even go then. Yeah, Lula Road just, it really doesn't sell very well. And Abercrombie and Fitch, a men's shirt. This is another men's shirt. It's a polo. It's Lacoste. And this is a more expensive brand. This is another new with tags. It is Victor O'Farro. So the original price to the and it's got the mock neck. The original price is $64. So I I think I post that for like 30. Um, this is another new with tags. It's Saint St. John's Bay Active, size large. Pretty purple one. Um, this is was only twenty seven, so I think I posted that for like fifteen or something, maybe eighteen. Another new with tags. It's Eddie Bauer. This is and uh, Fourth of July is coming up here in a couple months. So nice maxi dress. This was originally eighty dollars. This, I thought this was like super vintage. It's fashion bug. And like even the size of it is different. But this is the shirt. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I wanted to think it was a men's size because of like a men's shirt because of how the sizing is. But I think this is women's. Um, I can't figure it out. I did post it. Um, I think I posted it as a woman's. Well, I think I posted it as a 4X because I did look up the size and it said 4X. Um, this is just another scrub top. It's a Green Bay Packers one. Let's play. Then this was really funny. Beard. It's an ugly Christmas sweater. This one is really pretty embroidered and just really pretty um this is <laughs> linen charter club legacy the next thing it's very sheer a new approach how pretty is this this is leopard cheetah whatever you want to call it Uh, Banana Republic 100% Marina Wall sweater. That's really cute. And last but not, oh no, I, there's a couple shirts I did save for myself. Maybe I'll go grab those and show you what I got. What's the matter? Okay, so the last thing for reselling is this Jordan t-shirt. It's a men's 3x so it says j-o-r and on the back it says d-a-n jordan and i have this listed someone's already asking about it so yeah um not for myself i got him a couple sweaters my son i think they're in the wash though he did wear one of them so i can't show you those just know they're really cute <laughs> um the first thing i got for myself it was the wisconsin badgers tank top um, yeah, that's cool. 
And then I just got this. I really just like plain shirts. So this, this is good for like, you know, I just sit home every day, so I don't need anything fancy. But yeah, so that's all I have for you guys today. If you want to go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel, I will be back on probably like Tuesday with a what's sold. Bye.